Mumbai Indians have won two consecutive games now and they are making their resurgence in the IPL 2024. But yesterday in the MI versus RCB game, Hardik Pandya did receive a lot of booing. And because of that, the likes of Virat Kohli, the likes of all of them came up and said this behavior has to stop. When Virat Kohli said it, at that time, the fans were cheering him on. But how is the booing impacting Hardik Pandya? Now that is the question that Ishan Kishan answered in the post-match press conference. He had come for the post-match press conference after Mumbai had won. And on the first instance of booing, this is what Ishan Kishan had to say. Ishan Kishan, on the booing that Hardik Pandya is getting, he had a very clear statement. He said, Pandya loves challenges. He has been in this situation before and he is in that situation right now. He is not someone who will come out and talk about it and say, let's stop this or that. Of course, Hardik Pandya cannot say a lot of things because you all know how the fan reaction is towards Hardik Pandya. Because of the way how he came into the Mumbai Indians setup as captain, because of all the decisions that happened pre-IPL 2024, this is an issue. Hardik Pandya will have to take it on the chin and move on. Fan behavior and all, he can't control it. No one can control it. It can only be called out. That is why he chooses to stay silent. But Ishan Kishan has revealed that Hardik Pandya does like these kind of challenges and he's not going to change that. He will say that, okay, let it continue. I will do my job. But how is Hardik Pandya's state of mind due to this constant booing? Ishan Kishan stated, I know he must be enjoying it. These kind of adversities and the way how the team is bouncing back, despite all the outside noise, I know he must be enjoying it. I have spent a lot of time with him. He is ready for the challenges because you cannot complain to the fans. They will come up with their explanations and their point of views. Whatever Hardik Pandya does, he will be damned. That's how the fan mentality is at this point in time. He will try and give explanations that will be misconstrued. If he chooses to remain silent, he will be damned. Whatever he does, that is why he's in a catch-22 and that is why as a public figure in India, these are the kind of issues that they have to deal with. If Pandya deals with it very maturely, then it will be a big thumbs up to his character with the way how he's able to cope up with pressure. Your own fan base sometimes turns against you. That, it's a, that is a big problem. But remember, more than the Mumbai Indians, there is an entity called India where they both play. So, fans can't be done anything about it. So, he knows, Hardik Pandya knows that this is the way I have to move ahead. Now, after all this, we, we, were, we were all thinking, okay, first three games they lost, Hardik Pandya will get a lot of booing because the results are not going their way. Two games have been won, but the booing continues. Will the love ever come back? Now, Ishan Kishan stated, knowing how Hardik Pandya thinks, he's happy with people doing it. Although, although, if I have to just give a disclaimer to that, when the booing happened in the Rajasthan Royals game, he looked short. The decisions that he made, the team announcements that he made, he really looked short. And that is why Hardik Pandya, maybe this particular point that Ishan Kishan has stated might not work. I know that in the coming games, he will do it with the bat and people will start loving him. 21 of 6 was just a glimpse of what Hardik Pandya can do. So that is why if he can continue the consistency with the bat, continue helping Mumbai Indians to victories and ensure that they win their sixth title, perhaps, perhaps the love might come back. Maybe. That's a long shot. But there was one major question that was asked to Ishan Kishan alone about his break. In that entire break, he lost his central contract. He didn't make himself available for domestic games. How did he cope up with that? Ishan Kishan revealed it. He stated, when I took time off from the game, people were talking a lot. Many things came on social media. But you should also realize that many things are not in the hands of the players. The only thing you can do is utilize the time properly. So he did ensure that, okay, he didn't play any kind of domestic games. He went to Hardik Pandya, he went to Baroda, where he trained in the academy with Hardik and Krunal Pandya. Now, after the 69, he seems to be in the groove. But many things are not in your hands. Maybe Ishan Kishan just was not ready. But then at the same point in time, if you're a professional sportsman, 
you have to take these kind of risks. Yes, sport is unforgiving, just ask Hardik Pandya, but he is there in the setup somehow. Ishan Kishan without a central contract now, how is he going to come back? That is a big question in itself. Maybe for one or two games, he should have made himself available, but he chose that decision. As far as Hardik is concerned, maybe Mission Mumbai resurgence, if that happens, maybe the booing can stop. As they said, fans can't do anything about it, but you can definitely call out bad fan behavior if you are outside of that system. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. We'll be back with more updates on Sports Street. Tap that bell icon so you know when we go live. And don't forget we are on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. Bye-bye.